I'm Sara from Chimerical Dragonfly and this is the first sex, uh, session of uh, lockdown experience. So I join to hang out and I will wait to the other. My lab situation is a bit messy. Um, I hope to move soon in a bigger... Oh, the first one! <laughs> Hi! Hi! It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> I'm not sure if I... Oops. Okay, I'm already. Uh, sometimes I don't have the connection oh. enough for for the video, so I don't know if I will be on the video all the time. Okay, no, no problem. Uh, if you have a question and uh, you cannot see me, uh, tell me, and I will put online a photo on Facebook on our okay. group. <laughs> Normally it's okay if I just receive is sending that sometimes it's not. Uh, oh, know. okay. Um, then maybe I will ask you the reverse <laughs> <laughs> to, to understand better your situation. Okay. Nice uh, shirt. <laughs> sorry. Nice shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I have tons of uh, geek t-shirts. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Not for this work, but me too. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Well, actually, it's easier. Whoops. And this it's, always, uh, it's geek t-shirts or uh, or suits. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's oh. the thing with men. We don't have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move okay. it this way. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You're, you're ah. a lot bigger. Uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, yeah. This is somehow. <laughs> Try to see if I can uh, fix my phone. No problem. In this day, <laughs> we are all <laughs> lost uh -huh. in these uh, technology tricks. <laughs> Oh, it's just, uh, I have everything around me here. I, I see, I my... see. It's great. My... Okay. Super nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Maybe better for form. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good. Because a chair. And I have a cat. <laughs> even, even the mask for uh, when we use the glue. Perfect, because I will write uh, 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 between the uh, second and third step uh, to use plastic dip is better, use a ventilate area or find or use uh, an appropriate mask. But in this period, in this time, it's very difficult to find uh, any kind of mask here in Italy. and. I think that is impossible. <laughs> and, I, mean, I, I but, always have a, I always have a stock of masks, so I have like four or five, and and tons of uh, and tons of uh, ah, respirator uh, uh, filters. Yeah. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> So. I'm Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, I'm Shauna. Yeah, and you're, I'm, I'm you're... not. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What time is it in your country? Five o'clock in the evening. <laughs> Separate time. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, no, this is perfect. Okay. This is perfect. 
And I'd be willing to trade off on this perfect time on their okay. one of our next meetings. I can do an early or late guy. Um, but this is great for me. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hi. <laughs> I will certainly do the blessed dip uh, tomorrow Wednesday night. Oh yes, if if, if we at night. No, 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 no. Uh, plastic dip will be a homework. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> homework because he requires to wait uh, 30 minutes between one layer and another layer. So there will be a, <laughs> a small homework. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I may, I may just move my computer. Hold on one sec. This is an awkward angle and I have to adjust, but yeah. you're seeing my torso first. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Luisa. Hi, Luisa. Heck. Hi, how are you? I can see your name. Yes. It's a pleasure meeting you. Guys? The pleasure is mine. Thank, Thank you. you so much for opening this space to teach us a little bit. <laughs> Thank oh, yeah. you for accepting this, uh, this thing. And I apologize for my bad English. And uh, this is my first try <laughs> in English uh, to do something similar. I hope... Uh, will be okay. Your English is good. It's perfect. <laughs> Agreed. And Lu Luisa, what time is it in your country? Oh, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> um, yeah, I live in a tropical country, so there is still plenty of light outside. <laughs> you have uh, an amazing hairpin. Oh, yeah. Wow. I, I make those. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. It's your job. Thanks. Um, it's kind of like my hobby more than my job. But okay. yes, I do make these. It's amazing. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Let's see if I can put it out without completely destroying it, so you can have a closer look. Carino, yeah, it's amazing. Yes, it's all like you know. It's beautiful, also on the back side. That is an uh, mm -hmm. uncommon thing. <laughs> yeah, I try to make it neat because, it, I mean, my hair is very thin and curly. So if I don't put like a neat ending, it's mm -hmm. just going to get all crumble in my hair and it's going to be impossible to pull out them. I understand. Oh. Yes. Yeah, and my dogs are, are curious of what is happening. That's why you, you saw one of them. <laughs> 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 Yeah, my cats are going to be all over the place in a couple of minutes, so... <laughs> Mine too, it's already mm, somewhere here. Yeah, mine <laughs> is actually using the litter box. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are waiting for Terry. Perfect, okay. Yes, I believe so. Mm. <laughs> oh, good job, Sarah. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> no, it's I'm okay. terrified. I mean, we actually managed to coordinate five people from very different parts of the world. That is amazing. amazing. And just one week, that was <laughs> almost impossible to do. <laughs> He helped me, <laughs> but maybe if I will do a, a, another round, maybe I will do a mm, country <laughs> um, selection. Continent by continent. Yes. <laughs> that might help. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't think that so many people mm, accepted this, uh, would accept this, this thing, so... <laughs> in 10 minutes. Um, so, yeah. Oh, your work is your work is really beautiful. Thank you. It's really beautiful. And Thank I'm so happy that I am getting a chance to Thank you very sort of be much. here with you for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Like I have followed your page like I don't know like since Yeah. I don't know, like <laughs> at least nine years or something like that. It's sure. <laughs> nine years from the beginning. <laughs> yes, I have. And I have always been amazed about, like, you know, all your work because I was like, oh, my God, how does she do it? 
and I was showing my husband yesterday because I was like so excited, like, oh, I'm going to do the owl mask and all oh. that stuff. And he was like, wow, that is, how is that made? And I was like, don't ask me. I have no <laughs> idea how she makes this stuff. <laughs> but it's awesome. Thank you. All of you, all, all of you have uh, the print pattern and the foam, right? And glue. She yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and scissors here and a cutter around here. Perfect. Actually, I'm I just I was thinking about something. Help me later, and I forgot to take it. So. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm just gonna grab going the. To get it. Um, um, uh, I didn't ask you to cut your pattern before because I I think that this time can be useful to um, uh, <laughs> relax uh, all people and chat a bit uh, <laughs> just to enter in the mood we lose no Yana is online I'm just being attacked right now so Okay. Yeah, I, I was actually getting this. Oh. Ah. Huh. <laughs> it's very, it's very useful. Yeah. Okay. I never use that kind of glue on foam, but if you do, actually, it's just. Uh, you put it when you put the paper, so this way yeah. it doesn't go away. Okay. I, um, and it's very easy to remove, mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. don't uh, leave any marks or anything. Good. And uh, so sometimes you can take needles to, to, to put the, the pattern on the foam, but your pattern is very thin. Yeah. So it's easier to to take this kind of, of glue, and this way it will stick to the foam, and you can cut the pattern very easily, and it doesn't move around. Hmm. Oh, that is a good trick. It is nice <laughs> to know. <laughs> I didn't know that. So that's that's why I was going to to get that. Okay. And I was ambushed my, by my dog. <laughs> On the way. Okay. No, I, I suggested the neoprenic glue, the shoe glue, because I work with hard, strong uh, glue because my pieces, mm, I, I like them robust and I test them uh, because on LARP and Patex contact. Ah, yeah. Yeah, maybe. That's, that's what we have in Europe. That's the best one we, we have here. I in, use in the US they have barge. I use this one. I don't know. Okay. Do so you know? This one is even better, I guess. <laughs> the, the, this is amazing. It's amazing in my opinion. But um, I think that it's only sold in Italy and near country countries because I don't know if in your country there is this brand. No. no. I had to buy this one. It's kind of like, they call it here boxer. I don't know if it's the same thing. It should thing. be. It's, a, <laughs> it's the right color. And uh, and if you get dizzy when you smell it, then it's good. Yeah, <laughs> people do. I mean, like, normally homeless people tend to use this kind of glue to, hmm. like, you know, get dizzy. Is that, is that the one? <laughs> <laughs> I just said, because I went on and said, like, okay, do you have neoprene glue? And they were like, they would look at me like, what are you talking about? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. Okay. I tag Terry because maybe she doesn't see the top. Yeah. Anzi, qua. Also, I got some tape because I want to cheat, actually, if I can. Apologize, I didn't hear. <sighs> <laughs> so 
at some question. point I may try to cheat with your pattern because I think some things can be uh, modified. Just cut together directly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have you if you uh, have a um, big sh uh, you you're, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I found only these. Only <laughs> have this one as well. I and this is the this is the two millimeter, and then I have four and six and ten and eight right here. These are my, my boxes with foam. <laughs> then I have more. I, I I have I don't know too too many. <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, me too, but in plastazote, not in foam. Uh, uh. I just have these and one centimeter thick. So I have a question. Yep. Like the what you saw on your webpage, like all the custom because to be honest, here in Colombia, even though we have like a big Otaku community and like, you know, we have a little bit of cosplay, it's not like that big. Like we do not have cosplay stores here. Mm. So uh, I really had no idea about foam just until you started telling me about it on the on the group so I was like okay so I'm have to investigate about it so like everything that you do uh, for your Etsy shop it's made with foam uh most of all most of all uh most of my items are made in plastazote that e that has less density than this kind of foam uh to let you understand it's more mm -hmm. squishy, soft, softer. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. I make a weapon and armor also for LARP, where there is a kind of fight, and the uh, fight yeah. have to be safe. Mm -hmm. um, other mm, in the last year, I try foam, and I like this material, uh, but I prefer plastazote because is easier to me uh, sculpt in 3D in uh, three dimensions and then I use uh, foam clay that is uh, tricky but um, nice and last of all I use resin oh. mm, to make some kind of mask that uh, have to be Harder and um, mm, solid sturdier. and yeah, sturdier. Okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then later and uh, other material, feathers, horns, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you decorate with all yeah. yeah, because I had no idea that. I mean, again, this is my first time doing something like this. I do this, <laughs> no, not. But... This. Maybe next <laughs> this time something video. like a dragon in form. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's interesting. Oh. Mm. I tag Terry and both. I hope she. I'm, she I'm just gonna go grab some coffee. Okay, back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that in if in a five seven minutes Terry is not is still not here uh, we can start and maybe she will uh, um, start when will will arrive Just yeah, because <laughs> there are. I think that would be okay. Sorry if you hear my cat meowing. It. She is very <laughs> vocal. You're also recording, so you can pass it on if it ends up that that she's been delaying. That's true. I hope. I hope she has not problem on work. Thank you. Yeah, she's a nurse, right? Yeah. So, okay. is Genevieve, Genevieve, yeah, what's her name? Teddy. 
There was someone with a G name, if I'm not wrong. Geneva. Geneva mm -mm. Lorraine. Yep. That's another thing to add always when you're working with foam. Yeah. That's for sharpening your knives. To always add it. Ah, uh, I I change blade. I have a ton of small blade because I don't trust myself. To <laughs> I have tons of blades plus this, and uh, and it's always good to. But with thicker foam, actually, with this one, it's okay. Mm. But uh, if you don't have a a blade that cuts very well, you can do ragged edges. Yeah. And hurt yourself and it's, easily. Uh, it's absolutely right. Change blade, uh, do the difference on this material. If you have difficult to cut or your cut is dirty, is not mm, precise, 90% uh, of time is <laughs> the blade is guilty. <laughs> you have to remove the mm, ruined part. Gato? I heard my face. Hmm. Ciao. Ecco. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, mine is gonna start doing. Well, mine has been doing that a while. That's why I have my headphones, so you don't have to. At least you won't hear her so loud. <laughs> Much later. I think that you will see my cat on my table. <laughs> yeah, mine too. I have three, so you're gonna see three cats trying to get on the table while I'm working and yeah. you know trying to play with the cutter and all that good stuff that cats do. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, I only have two dogs and they are by my feet now, and uh, they're. Very quiet, which is good. But just to ask to you, uh, the um, how are post the um, the time zone posts and uh, uh, all the rest was understandable? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> just to know <laughs> because <laughs> I don't I don't know. Mm. I think that we can start and the other uh, will have more homework. <laughs> okay. If for you well, it's okay because we are here uh, since, uh, since 23 minutes. Maybe we can start. <laughs> yeah, and you guys are at like midnight, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be considerate with the, the with the people in Europe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so take your pattern and cut it. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> I use different colors to show you uh, next steps, but I will uh, explain you step by step. So mm. This is the pattern for the PDF tutorial, just in case in the future, if I will be still here. Okay. The feather's shape is a suggestion. <laughs> you can modify it as you prefer now or later. And if you have a question, let me know. So 
to take off your dubs or... Well, I do hope we all learned how to cut in kindergarten. Uh, kindergarten? Yeah, you know, the first year in school, ah. when you're a little kid, and they teach you how to use scissors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I prefer a mm, double side pattern, but if you mm, change the side, you can uh, use the, the same half. <laughs> I made the complete, the complete pattern just to be sure that was easy for all. Okay. <sighs> Sarah, should we be marking your pieces um like one one two one? Um three, one, can you repeat eight, please? One. Sorry? Oh we we've got on the uh, one of four, two of four, three of four, four of four for our pattern. Should we be when we cut our pieces out, should we be marking which which page it came from? So this is this is piece one one or this is piece two one. Uh, I'm sorry, I heard you not so well so I didn't understand uh, you ask okay. me if you have to um, sing the to write the number on the form pieces. Okay. Yes. Um, as you prefer. Uh, if you okay. use a um, pen, there will um, there is no problem. I think uh, it's important that you uh, don't use uh, alcohol marker like permanent one because alcohol has chemical reaction with some product and some colors, so he, uh, okay. I suggest you to avoid it ever. <laughs> Don't use uh, alcohol stuff, alcoholic stuff. And uh, if you are more comfortable writing the number, yes, mm, as you prefer. Okay. Otherwise, we we will uh, can see. Um, the pieces shape on the webcam, right. so um, don't worry. A friend of mine <laughs> uh, changed <laughs> the order of these strip, strips, and uh, his uh, all uh, was good in <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so. Not a big problem. The last time I tried to sew something, I was 13 and I made a pair of pants with two bums. <laughs> so I'm, I'm capable of flipping a pattern around. <laughs> I'm so concerned. <laughs> wow. Nice. Uh, yeah, spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that that must have looked really interesting when you wore it. Oh, yeah. Yes. For one time. <laughs> Okay. Try to have uh, a clean cut as you can.
to um, have a nicer result and maybe work less um, later. Okay. Uh, both um, on paper and form both. Just because it's easier, be preciser, um, be be precise um, in this phase. Phase, uh, no phase. Uh, phase. Instead, uh, um, clean um, in a second moment. <laughs> All right, Ian? I am absolutely fine. Perfect. Just very concentrated. Yeah. Be careful with your fingers, please. But I think <laughs> I am going to do just one out of the pattern. Me too. Because, as you said, you need to concentrate to do it clean. And it takes a lot. Hmm. So I can just reverse the pattern and that's good. Yeah. I am doing the same <clears throat> thing. But just in case I put both sides. Maybe you will do a second one. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm sure my brother would like an owl mask. <laughs> oh, he loves it. This is why I'm using my bad scissors instead of my good scissors. <laughs> this is paper. This is destroying the edge. Absolutely. Yes, it, it's ruined a lot. Scissor, scissor. I use my later blade that is oh. flexible. <laughs> I, I, I have played no, too, but uh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> you win. <laughs> I, I am over equipped. The blade master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can definitely tell that you are very well equipped. <laughs> I had to buy half of the stuff. <laughs> there is no competition. <laughs> It's not possible. No, I, I told you guys, I have never worked with foam before, so it's perfect. <laughs> like, I have, I have made like some, like kind of like, like this Ven fest Venice's festival, like you know the mask yeah. festival that they have in Venice. I have made those, but like the plastic mask was already made. I would just like you know, kind of cut it and decorate it. Mom, I can show you maybe yeah, later yeah. one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I because will I like And it's a start. No, it's the same yeah. as I have okay. been uh, doing. Well, you're kidding. <laughs> I, I, I have been doing miniatures for at least two decades, so that's why I have compass things and, uh, and, and tools and, and everything. Ah, what am I? I would like to try to paint a miniatures, but I think uh, uh, to be no um, capable with so small things uh, you just need to get used to it, but uh, now that I need glasses, of course, uh, my painting is not as good as it, as it was before. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Last century, I won a few tournaments uh, painting miniatures. 
Oh wow. Mm. I just time just like anything. It's not it's a big deal. And it's a small scene. Well, it's getting a lot bigger nowadays, but uh, when I did that, there was very few people, so it was easy to do. <laughs> I try to put <clears throat> a private message. Maybe. Okay. I think that Geneva will arrive soon. I'm here. I just oh. crept in. I'm so sorry. Hi. I'm running late, guys. <laughs> no problem. <clears throat> I hey, came in and I've never. All okay, guys. I came in and I've been sitting here cutting my pattern <laughs> while you're talking. <laughs> Perfect. We we are cutting our pattern, so you are in time. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I am writing to Terry and hope she will reach to us. Okay. It's okay for you recording or not? Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely okay. Okay, thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe it's because it's late, but that's the first time I managing to to be on the video call and that it doesn't freeze and, or I don't have to just shut down my, my video. <laughs> So. I believe it's the hour. Yeah, I think. Because sometimes, like when there is too many people, like when it's like I don't know, hmm. rush hour to call it some way. In the evening, um, there are many people connected to the net, and that makes the net crash. It happens here all the time, like around 7 p.m. Yeah. Like you know, when it gets a little bit later. Or in the mornings, like when everyone is like, you know, in their video conference trying to work from home. Yeah, because usually, usually my, uh, I have meetings with my teams and, uh, and, and they never see my face. I, I'm a voice to them. <laughs> <laughs> then it's an honor. <laughs> No. Okay. No. Geneva, what time is it to you? For me, it is eight thirty in the morning. Huh. Good morning, then. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not really a morning person, and I think that's why I'm late. <laughs> it would have happened to me if I wasn't that time, believe me. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> it's very rainy here in Sydney. Yeah. It's going to storm for the next couple of days, so it's... Oh, last night I was laying in bed listening to the rain on my window, and I think I stayed up too late because it was so nice. <laughs> mm. That happens. Well, we we have a an absolutely beautiful weather in Paris. Oh, it's, I can uh, imagine. Thirty degrees uh, Celsius. So I don't know in Fahrenheit what what it is. But it's very warm. Yep. Celsius is meaningful for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I cannot do that. It's such okay, warm temperatures. Well, you're fast. 
<laughs> Practice makes perfect, I believe. But no uh, problem. Um, we um, will wait for you. I, I just got out of it. Good, me too. But for <laughs> me, is enough. <laughs> well, wait for me. Yeah, yeah. I have two left. <laughs> no, no problem. We will mm -hmm. wait, uh, all of you. Uh, I prefer uh, wait uh, everyone and try to um, don't let behind anyone. And I am absolutely fine with waiting as well, so mm -hmm. not, not a problem. Okay. I am s sorry. Because I'm the newbie here, obviously. <laughs> About Terry. <laughs> Oh, me too. Hmm. Oh, you're a newbie with foaming, with foam working as well. Hmm? Oh yes, absolutely. No, I've done some work with paper and some work with um, uh, and plaster and yeah. cardboard, but not much with foam. Like, I'm gonna confess something. This is the first time I buy foam. Like even child, <laughs> like, I have never bought that thing in my life. And actually, I always wonder, like, why? Did, what is this thing used for? I have no idea. Oh, well, now I know. <laughs> Me too. When I was child, uh, I never tried this material for any um, play or construction or boo. Never. Never at the school. Now, children are full of this cool stuff. Also, foam clay, I think that the idea started from uh, a clay for children. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Uh, it's cool. They can try a ton of... <laughs> Mm, of new way to play. We have yeah, the no, dog. No, no, like. <laughs> or, or, or we can just keep it to ourselves and let the children not. <laughs> 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 well, I, to be honest, today is the first day that I have heard about foam play. So I'm going to have to Google, Google that later. <laughs> yeah. Just. Uh, I'll go and get some so you can see. Ah. Like. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I I finished, so <laughs> I think I uh, I should have some somewhere in my office here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, a Thor hammer. <laughs> What? A Thor Hammer. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I am definitely not a Christian. I'm sorry for that. For <laughs> but, well, you I mean, have not to be sorry. <laughs> You're Italian. That's why I was saying that. <laughs> yeah. I like it. There's so many stuff here. <laughs> so that's where I, 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 I have everything. So, uh, and I haven't used my, my phone, uh, my phone clay in a while. So I have my, my clay clay, my uh, lots of things. I bought a small sample size. Phone clay, but okay. I, I can, as soon as I, as soon as you get to find it, it's going to be... <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look later when I can do that. Uh, and I can send you a picture if you want so you can see. And actually, there is a, the best brand uh, I have been told is um, a firm play that is made in Australia. Actually. The light... light, light, uh, light is that Lumens? Lumens shop. Yeah. I, I use bought it. a small sample of the 
play, but I haven't used it yet because I don't know what to use it for. I have a little bit of it, but I'm waiting for the right project. It's amazing. Yeah. I, I've never used it, but I've heard it was uh, the very best. Yeah, I don't try other brands, but this, it's really cool. And if you close uh, well the jar and put some cellophane around, uh, on the, the clay, the clay uh, between um, the jar and the cup and around, um, clay will remain perfectly soft for months. Yeah, because oh. otherwise, if it's just a little bit open, uh, it, it, it becomes dry immediately. Not oh. so fast, but mm, in half hour, yes, if the piece is thin. Yeah, I, 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 I had a, a little little thing of clay like this that I left, and, and I thought it was well closed, and it was not, and it was... I just found it the other day and it was just dry. Too, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to cure the, the clay with uh, some water and close the jar and take and put and take and put. But with water you can um, keep uh, wet the clay um, and work uh, um, longer. So can we... Um take parts of the pattern to put them together. Um, uh, can you repeat, please? Can, can we use those thin ones and put them together so yeah. in order to cut just one piece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you, you have a bigger piece of foam, so yes. Uh, if, you, if this way is easier to you, then draw... Yeah, it's easier. It's not just easier, it will be... Uh, sturdier. Yeah, yeah. So Proceed. <laughs> I think, uh, so which one which goes with which? It's four and... Which pieces now? I four will start four. with piece one and two. That is the face. Okay, yes, one and two. Yep. But if you want to um, cut them all, and take uh, the other piece on a side, it's okay. Uh, now what or later, thinking, we will cut them. What I was thinking is, uh, you do one and two normally, because I think it's very good the way you did it. Thank you. And so, so the four pieces, and it adds depth, the fact that it's four. But yeah. what I'm thinking is around... Just taking and, and cutting it in one. Yes. So this way it's, very, it's a lot stronger. But I need to, to know where to put which pieces. You cannot do the same thing with uh, pieces one and two. Because as you, as you can see, the joint part is cured. Yes. So glue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it would need to be two times two and two times one. And then... Yep. But even then, it's not uh, it's not the smartest thing to do. It's very good to do it in four pieces. <laughs> but for the ground, I think it's it's better to do it in one piece. Yes, so because the curve will give the right shape to the mask. Um, exactly. I try to to find my previous hole. Ha, um, I lost my phone. <laughs> <sighs> there, there are a ton of orders here, and I for ah, no, I forgot one. This, uh, this um, round shape give to the mask the the nose the the big yes. effect. Yes. It's a easy shape, but um, work well. 
works really well, in my opinion. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny because you, you did not put any uh, lenses on the mask. Yeah, I put a black net. Okay. Oh. You can see me uh, through the yeah. eye. Yeah. Yeah, and I draw here with a dry brush uh, a, a white spot to simulate the, the shining of the eye. Mm -hmm. But if I wear the mask here, my eyes look black, totally black. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> the, oh. I can see through um, not perfectly, but in the day there is no problem. In the night is a messy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet. But yeah, it looks. It actually looks really good. You can uh, decide I, to take it off or not. I like to. I like to buy cheap sunglasses and just use the, the lenses as the, the sunglasses. It will be perfect. But I made this mask as um, easy and uh, also um, cheap ma uh, material mask uh, just to um, to create something. Uh, for this period, I like it that idea to can make a mask with um, home stuffs. Mm -hmm. Me too. Uh, everything can can be done with uh, um, more professional materials. Uh, um, a lot of things um, more. This way is a way that I think almost everyone can afford and uh, experiment. I and hope. It's absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Also, so. Thank you. I see a lot of cool stuff under Geneva. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my bedroom is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I see mask and horns and. Uh, oh yeah, all my costume pieces. If I turn, you can kind of see more of them. I have. It's it's really cool. Ah, no. <laughs> no. I used to work in a costume shop, and when they were closing down. But other things. Um, I do have some holes that I have made as well. Um, um, I mostly uh, I, I have some problem to hear you, Geneva. I hope that Geneva it's a good pronunciation. Yes. Okay. Can, can you repeat, yeah. please? Because the the connection was yeah. bad, and I hear cosplay. And uh, costumes, uh, but not more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I used to work in a costume shop ah. as well as doing some cosplay. Right. And when the shop closed down, because the owners had been doing it for so long and they were old and they were tired, I got to buy a lot of the beautiful pieces in the oh, costume lovely. shop. Nice. So between that and the things that I make, um, and you know my cosplay stuff. I just I have a lot, so I have a wardrobe that is just full and exploding with costumes. <laughs> and I love headpieces and horns and masks, and oh, I wow. really love like anything that kind of covers the face or like you know like a I, if I go out, I'll have on um, like to a costume thing. I'll have. Horns and elf ears and a mask and I just like maybe four things on my head. Yeah. I love it. So I like. Oh, I am. It's it's a really cool. Um, hmm. The word um, selection. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But there is some LARPer here or not? I am alone. 
No, I've never done LARPing. I love the costumes, but I think I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, then you're you're good, then. Because right. that's exactly how you begin LARP, not knowing what to do. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite correct. <laughs> <laughs> I've got step one down. Perfect. Dress up or look confused. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> like once I tried to do like this kind of like, do you know, um, what's her name? Freckless Fairy Chest? Freckless. Yeah, she tends to use like, you know, make this very interesting horns and kind of like elvic oh. crowns and things like that. Nice. So once I tried to get inspired and try to do something like that, and I ended up like using um, it's called mache paper, I believe. Well, it's um, like newspaper with blue, pretty much. Okay. It was so heavy that I was not able to oh. head my head up. So that did not work mm. out, and I kind of like quit no. trying to do those kind of stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Well, now, now you're discovering foam and foam yeah. will help you get yeah. it and, and, and you can wear it. You can make a bigger one. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what to be with foam. I was like, okay, let's just try out with what I know I can use. And yes, it was a complete disaster. So, <laughs> so that's my only attempt of cosplaying and then I just decided that no. <laughs> because it's not, it, there's not such a big community here of cosplayers, to be honest. Ah, you I mean, told us, yes. we have something that it's called Sofa. It's kind of like the Comic Con here, but it has only been in the market like for nine years. Hmm. So it's, it's very new. And, you know, it's not, yeah, I mean, it's not, I mean, you see amazing stuff, but I think that most of that stuff, either the, the ones who are wearing it are the ones who do it, or mm. they buy it all from people like you, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some pieces. <laughs> yeah, so my big discovery this quarantine is foam. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Mine was cold ceramic. <laughs> that is a blob made with vinavin, mice uh, powder, bicarbonate. Non so se si dice bicarbonato. Mm, bicarbonato. Yeah, yeah, it's baking soda. Uh, baking baking soda. soda. Yeah. And uh, thank you. And baby oil. Ah. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's how I make these. The flowers. And it's called the ceramic? Oh! Yes. Seriously? So thin? Yes. Ah, you're... Like, I'm gonna give you... Like, see if really? I can give you a close-up on it. Ah! Look at it. It's so, ceramic. it's mm. real. <laughs> Someone can do... Seriously, this... Uh, <laughs> these flowers with this material. No, my, my first yeah. try was... Hey, let's, let's exchange. I'll teach you cool ceramic. You're going to teach me cool. I would like it. I take this pest and split it in a mold and take off some decoration for uh, a jars. Uh, so I make mold uh, of uh, handle of my furniture in home and stuff like this. But you make a super cool product. Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's real. It's not magic. No, it isn't. <laughs> okay. Now, I have sold some of these pieces mainly for brides. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect no. for a bride. 
for weddings, they tend to ask a lot of this kind of stuff. But also, like, you know, since they're importing so many cheap kind of, like, mm. beaded little tiaras from China and things like that, so that is also a problem. This is a world, world problem, I think, that uh, China, Chinese replicate less or more everything, and now with 3D uh, uh, printer, mm, yeah. again, there is a new super cheap group of items, and some people mm, sold their work uh, at super cheap price, and these create uh, yeah, it tends to create a big problem, and yeah. there is. I mean, I do not. I mean, I do not dedicate myself to this. This has been like just a hobby of mine. Um, it started when I was going to get married, precisely that I was searching for tiaras, and I did not like the prices that I saw, and also I saw like really, like things that were being like you know kind of like promoted as handmade and, you know, high quality stuff, I would find them in Wish for less than a dollar. Yeah. Mm. So I was like, okay, so people are trying to rip me off. And the ones who are not trying to rip me off, I'm not completely satisfied with the work. So I decided to do my own. And then friends of mine and, you know, flower girls and, you know, saw what I did and they were like, oh, that is beautiful. Can you do one for me? Can you do one for me? And that's, I mean, that's how I have sold, but I have not sold many. I mean, I do not live uh, from this. I, I would not be able to live out from that, but it's kind of like a nice hobby. So when I do one, I just publish it and some people go like, oh yes, I wanted to, I'll just sell it. But, mm. Mm -hmm. I understand. I understand your, your problem. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's happening with all the arts and crafts and, you know, mm -mm. Uh, I found my my product photos on Wish, and I fight <laughs> with Wish a lot to uh, take down that photos, and I also bought <laughs> my work imitation from Wish, fifty dollars. Oh. <laughs> wow! I couldn't resist. And how was it? Was it good or was it a complete? So inter interesting. Oh. I made a video <laughs> to show the difference because uh, this piece wasn't mm -hmm. later, later, and was glued and uh, plastic uh, fabric, different yeah. shape, different color, obviously, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and super big. Um, yeah, that happens. I order some pieces of that, you know, like those kind of tiaras for brides and things like that from Wish. I did buy them. But yeah, the quality was, it was just so horrible. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even use it. And also, like this one, for example, um, this one has Swarovski crystals and has real cultivated pearls. Wow. Right? So, so yeah, so it, and it's, you know. Yeah, the quality, no obviously, and the material and everything. You, you, you just see it. Mm -mm. But, of course, they put whichever picture, something that really was handmade by someone who, you know, really knows what they're doing, and they, mm -hmm. they just sell you whatever imitation they make. So, yeah, it's complicated. Uh, we have to move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And ignore because otherwise the rage grow, grows. Yeah. And for me, it was the same for leather working. Just like you, I couldn't find what I wanted, so I started leather working. <laughs> me. Uh, but I, I, I don't sell anything. No. I just do it for, for me. You are full of stuffs. <laughs> thing is that if I kept all the things that I do for myself, um, I would have to move out. 
This oh, yeah. is a, a belt. The belt I have, I did it. Wow. wow. I want to learn leather working. Wait, That's wait, wait. Like, oh, yeah. I think I, my next could, one, could, leather and fur. Let me see. Yeah, could, could you see some, some of it? Uh, yeah, we yes? did. Well, I saw it. Yeah. Okay. I miss yeah. it. I, I wasn't sure because it was very dark to me. And it was, <laughs> so. You can put a <laughs> yeah, photo. I, have, uh, I do lots of belts and things and uh, for yeah. my, my costumes. Uh, I like having uh, sword angers and things like this that, that I need. Armor too? Shoulders and... Stuff like this. And today I was also carving wood. That's uh, a new thing. Wow, you're very polyphacetic. <laughs> you're all into I, I, art. I like to, to learn, actually, and do different things. You are a curious guy. <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I think this is the best thing to to do and uh, just to be curious and learn as much as you can always. Yeah, that is right. I, I think I'm happiest when I'm learning something new, so I, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Like, I have recently been learning... because I Actually, my job is I'm a cat behaviorist. I... I'm a cat behaviorist and cat trainer. So since the quarantine, the lockup, obviously I have not been able to work because I have to go to my client's place and, you know, like solve cat behavior problems and train cats and all that good stuff. <laughs> so I decided that this quarantine I would start learning French to keep my mind occupied or I would fall into a big <laughs> depression. And that mm -hmm. is not good. It's a very difficult language. Uh, Spanish is not that easy, and they are kind of similar, I have found. Oh, yeah. But, uh, Spanish is my first language, and I use French, of course, because uh, living in Paris, it's pretty obvious. But, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's quite a complicated language. To get it really right, to speak it completely fluently, it's uh, very difficult. Yeah, things that, like, well, I'm just beginning, so at least what I have found from the grammatical structure, they're very similar. Oh, absolutely. So um, that kind of has helped. <laughs> like Italian, I guess. <laughs> I will not learn how to make an owl mask, so, with full, which is kind of, like, completely new to me, so, yeah. Good for learning. Okay, Terry uh, write that she had an emergency and she um, isn't well, late. How are your patterns? I'm just cutting my last one. Perfect. I've just finished. Yeah, super fast. <laughs> then I'm just cutting the other one just to keep myself busy. <laughs> but I can use the other pieces, like, you know, kind of like both sides. Tell me when you are ready. And we will cut again. <laughs> I'm just going to go and get my roller cutter for the foam out of my painting desk. I'll be back. I think that this is the other, other things that I ever done. <laughs> And 
And have you thought about starting like a YouTube channel with like, you know, kind of like small tutorial or something like that? Um, can you repeat, please? Have you thought about creating a YouTube channel with small tutorial? For, uh, like, you know, yes, like that? I think about it. But I am waiting to move in a bigger lab and a more decent lab because this one is small and me and my boyfriend are trying to buy a home with a big space for me and where I can have some decent light because in this moment I have right in my face two of these uh, IKEA. <laughs> IKEA lamps, uh, computer lamps, yeah. I am a bit blind at the moment and uh, and I have to improve absolutely my English, that is so difficult for me because I don't know, it's my enemy. <laughs> Your English is not that bad, you're very exaggerated. <laughs> if I told you when I started to learn English at school, you, you will qu quit. <laughs> hey, you're doing a great job right now. Your English is good enough to start a YouTube channel. Believe me, I have heard <laughs> Thank you. much worse. <laughs> no, I, I like... I mean, I'm an interpreter. <laughs> I like... I would like this. The problem is that um, there are few pieces, a few simple pieces in my work that I can explain to everyone because um, much of my items requires a lot of tools and some experience with some material. material. So okay. it's a bit tricky and it requires time, time to um, make videos and to editing the videos. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, it's it's not paid time, and this is my full time job, and I have to complete the orders of my customers, and my free time is it's very very, very few, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I understand. And 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 yes, but maybe I hope to um, put some of this video on my YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel that is quite dead. I put something online, but uh, I use um, Facebook more because it's more easy to me and for a person that works to me, um, spread Facebook than YouTube. That's true. Mm. I tried it with Patreon, but Patreon changed the te terms and another um, hole in the water. <laughs> uh, but I would like to um, put tutorial online and try to make more experience like this because I decided to make this thing because I really, really would like participate <laughs> to learn from other other uh, prop maker. I would like so much can buy mm, make stuff in the same time and can ask in real time. But I didn't found uh, any of these uh, practice around on internet. So I would like to make this classroom. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> These things. Yeah, but it would be it would be nice. Mm. So I'm gonna close the curtain. <laughs> because it's starting to get a little bit dark and I don't want people spying on me. <laughs> Other than you guys, <laughs> that is enough. <laughs> okay. Uh we no. Shauna, okay. I think that also Shauna has finished, finished, finish, has, uh, hmm, this is my English, uh, let's call it, let's keep.
has finished in her pattern. <laughs> I have my English <laughs> book here. It's finished. Yeah. No, that's why you had it right the, the first time. <sighs> okay. Ciao! Listen. <laughs> Someone is asking mommy to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. And in the night, she scream and play and scream and play and uh, arrive to wake up me. <laughs> so look, this was the closest thing that I ever oh. have done. Oh, oh, I like it. Thanks. Yeah, really? it's, but it's again, it's like you know, your normal plastic Chinese yeah. face mask, and I just decorated it. That was it. I like I'm so much. The oh, that one is beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh, he's made from paper. Paper. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's, it's really cool. nice. <laughs> It's really nice. Thanks. I also saw a cat on your wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here he is, actually. He's kind of like asking if he can get on my lap. Echo. Gotcha. I'll let him do it. Echo. This is trap. <laughs> oh. oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. So cute. Ma devi andare giù. Yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah. No, going the concert. <laughs> and he's like, come here, show your face and say hi. Now oh. that you have been already spying on everyone. Che bello. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, he's like, hello. But <laughs> 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 yeah. my, my dogs have lost interest, so. Yeah. Hey. Back on their couch. No, for this guy to lose interest, I don't know. I have to just keep them out. They are very mistreated dogs. They have their own couch. Wow. Yeah, well, these guys have a whole wall for themselves. It's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, those were difficult to pull up, but we made them. It's a nice idea. Because those I have done as well. I have, I mean, it, let me see if I can show you guys a little bit. It's like a whole cat condo. You can see there is a little box over there. And you have like, you know, cat trees. Oh, nice. So, yeah, it's like. It's a paradise cat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Those, that's what I do a little bit as well. But that is the that is the biggest thing that I can do with woodwork. <laughs> make it all <laughs> work in same size and pieces and make little boxes and put it on the wall. That's it. <laughs> no wood carving. <laughs> oh. It's more than I can do. Uh, 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 I, for me... See, when I was talking about wood carving, it's uh, very, very simple. Oh, it's here. Uh, let's see if I can put this into some light. So, if we are all ready, we can proceed with cutting foam. Yeah. Take your pattern, take a pen and uh, mm, cut the one and two pieces and if you want you can cut all pieces mm, now or if you prefer you can cut them uh, later as you prefer I <laughs> I thought we were cutting home. <laughs> 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 
I did all the main pieces already. <laughs> okay, info one. Yes. Ah, well, okay. A lot now. Oh my God. I put. I am waiting for you, but you pass me. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Then I will start with piece two and one. Oh, Shakti, get down. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just I didn't, jumped on my lap while I'm with a cutter in my hand. That is not good. I lost the information. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. 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 We was distracted. <laughs> Do you think you will start gluing before fifteen minutes or not? Um. Yes. If we. Yes. If you want, I can explain you uh, how glue it, and then explain. No, no. I, I, it's just that. Uh, if it's more, if it's in 15 minutes, I can uh, go offline very quickly, so I can walk my dog because they are asking me to for a little walk. Oh, oh no, no. And I, I have cut all the. No, uh, you need the main pieces. 15 minutes to walk your your dog. This, this way they can. Uh, they are used to be walked around uh, midnight or something like that. So oh, we can wait. at me desperately. I, <laughs> I think that <laughs> if uh, 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 we have to um, cut uh, for um, uh, um, yet, so if you want walk your dog, there is no problem for a fifteen minutes. Yeah. Okay, so no, I'm gonna I, take my time here. Your dog first. I will, I will come back in in fifteen minutes then. Perfect. Okay. Okay. See you. See, See you. you now. Ciao. Bye. Oh. Apologies, Shawa. I Shawa, it's right. Sh Shawa. Sh Shana. Sh Me? Shana. Sh yeah. Shana. Shana. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I thought I was behind everybody who was I, I, I didn't realize. <laughs> I didn't realize that you was. Uh, um, you already cut it. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to grab a snack, but I'm still going to hang out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My cat bring me a mouse. What? Oh. <laughs> a oh, toy. I, don't... I was like, what do you have? <laughs> no, no, not real mouse. No, 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 no. Sorry. Bye. No, no, not real. <laughs> Yeah, I was a bit surprised. Like, okay, well, that no. is interesting. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the cat wants to play. Not we so tranquility in my voice. <laughs> no, no. I live in city, so luckily there is not this problem. Well, I live in a city, and well, not. 
not for me, but I know that because I live in a par- in apartment, but I know people that live in houses, mm-hmm. they tend to have a little bit of mice problem. Huh. Hmm. Not so, so nice. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I use different form color maybe this will help you on webcam yeah, might. I find I found only these kid colors so I have <laughs> terrible blue green orange brown ah. I'm very lucky. I live in um, a suburb that is known for being really arty and creative, and everyone from in this area is kind of yeah. person. And in the like, I don't know, dollar shop, the variety shop with lots of lots of little cheap things. They had big, uh, uh, um, like a. I think it's probably a um, a two pieces of clothes, big ones, very cheap. So I'm like, oh, because oh, wow. uh, because I live in such, such an art, artistic area, all of the cheap shops have paint supplies and art supplies, really cheap. So it's a <laughs> I definitely yeah. have more than I need. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a. Uh, eh, stormo, come si dirà? Stormo, uh, no, 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 no. a flock. You can do a, a flock. flock. <laughs> yes, we make a flock. I was thinking of making one um, for my boyfriend to paint because <laughs> he likes to paint miniatures. So I was thinking, looking at the painting part of it, that he would enjoy that. Yeah. Like a movie. Yeah, definitely. You have your your own Benny. I'm sorry, I'm super quiet because this is not being so easy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit more tricky. She sells Uh, works great on this material. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, the first one is cut out. It's not the cleanest cut ever, but I think it shall do. No, no, it's good. It's good. I need to practice. It's not bad, and we can modify it with uh, with oh, miseria I mi ricordo mai il nome stagnino Tin Smith ecco
a small advice. If you have an mm, uh, A4 um, form sheet, you can draw in this way your strip um, and avo uh, avoid to glue them together later. You cut a, a entire strip. Okay. Oh, for these type of pieces? Yeah. I put in one direction, then in the other. Oh. Um, keeping the gluing side in the center. And then I will, I will not glue them together later because I will already have a unique piece. A solid piece. Ah, oh, perfect. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll try to pull that off if I manage to. It's just a puzzle mm, work on the sheet. Okay. Here's this one, here's this two, yeah. I am always. I'm gonna try to do. Mr. Sotinho's trick. See if I have some glue bar. You want mm, tips about glue? No, no, no. I'm gonna use the the glue bar that he was using, the Pegastic. I don't know mm -hmm. how it's called. To stick this to the foam to make it easier to cut. Ah. <laughs> uh... No, bad idea. <laughs> mm, yes, because uh, on the front you will have to color it, put uh, mm, spray gum on it, and maybe engrave it. So if you put paper, you will not able to engrave it. And uh, um, we'll I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna stick it like stick it. It's just gonna hold the paper, and then you <laughs> just rip off the paper. Might work or might not work. Um, I think not because I'm sorry because uh, glue, uh, even if a uh, small quantity, uh, remain on the surface of foam, and then when you put uh, use uh, hot in, hot tools, glue uh, melt and uh, make uh, uh, nice dots one. and uh, dirty on the surface. Okay, then I won't do it. <laughs> no, and if you do this thing in the inside of the mask, you will find the glue on your face. So, <laughs> again... Uh, okay, it's not a good option. No. Then I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I, I don't think that is a good option. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, <laughs> that's what we're here for, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And again, it's my first time working with this kind of material, so no problem. I, I really have no idea how it behaves. I think that this project is okay for um, all kind of experience. I had a beta test with my friend, Italian friend, but online in this lockdown time, and she used a hair dry, <laughs> uh, rounded tip scissor and mm, adhesive foam. <laughs> wow. She she win. <laughs> uh, she obtained her mask, and uh, she is not a prop maker, so I think that mm, this is a good project. Uh, also to start. Okay, good. That helps me not be very scared with what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm here. Cosa c'è tra poco? Perché ti lanci il dono?
Allora, questo è il 4, il 7, il 6, il 5. So that I was able to understand. Mm -hmm. oh. Ancora. questo è il 3 3 3 gattone cavolo questo non è illuminato e io qui sto cammino si <laughs> a lot, a lot. Uh, we adopt her after she was thrown by a car. Oh wow! Yeah, at six months, six months old, old, and she. It's a bit a mystery. It's in our home from since three years. Uh, no, from three three years, but uh, she. Still has some um, actions that uh, we cannot understand. It happens. Yeah. Understanding cats is, I mean, for us humans, is a little bit more complex than dogs, but it's because we haven't spent so much time with cats as we have had biologically spe speaking with dogs. So, for example, human has been. Humans have been living in society with gods, with God, with dogs for <laughs> over 25,000 years, mm -hmm. while we have been living in society with cats only for 5,000 years. So oh. that is why everyone knows that if a puppy wags its tail, it's happy. If it starts growling, it's not happy. While with cats, most of the people are not, don't really understand um, what's cat's language. But it's just because biologically we have not spent so much time with them. I didn't know that. Uh, that's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so that is why. Thankfully that happened, so that's how I had my job. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a cat behaviorist. Um, but yeah, so for example, if a cat is wagging its tail, just let it be because it's angry. It's not very happy. Yeah. yeah, it's stressed out. Yep. Mine sometimes yelling a lot here in your face, and I try to play, and she doesn't want play to any with any toys, and uh, I. It seems that she wants to be touch. Or, yeah. um, but when I uh, try to touch them, she yell again and go away and uh, return to me after 30 seconds again. But she is not hungry and uh, I cannot understand. I 
I became crazy to understand what kind of game that day she wants. <laughs> Mainly it's just because they want attention. For example, I tend my cat, my female cat, she does exactly the same thing. Like she's always like when she wants attention, so she starts meowing and you pet her and she meows again and she comes and she goes. But so that can happen for several reasons. One, she just wants attention and we have like encouraged the behavior of her, like, you know, speaking back and like, what's wrong? What do you want? And Do you want some food or water or something? So that's kind of like encouraging the behavior uh. because it's a positive reinforcement command. They're getting the attention that they want. That's one of the things. But I love talking to my kitty, so <laughs> I don't care her yelling at me. And my husband is okay. He's like, okay, she is just very spoiled. <laughs> okay. Um, so mainly it's basically because of that, because she just wants attention, any kind of attention. It's not really that they want either, you know, it's litter to be changed or water. It's just, hey, I want attention, so, so give it to me. And since I know that if I'm yelling, you're going to pay attention, because it has happened before, I'll just keep on doing it. Okay, so maybe she wants just that I... Talk to that to sh to her and okay. exactly. <laughs> Almost like the cat train the people. <laughs> oh, yeah. they are really good at training people. They are like the best people trainer in the world. Like everyone is like, why is this cat waking me up at three a.m. in the morning to feed it? And I'm like, well, if you get up from bed at three a.m. in the morning when it stops snoring and feed it, well, obviously. <laughs> It's gonna happen every time because she's like, oh, every time I yell, he's gonna feed me. So I don't care if it's 3 a.m. in the morning or 3 in the afternoon, I'll just start screaming and he'll put fresh food on my plate. So yeah, it's interesting. My cat uh -huh. is terrible in early morning, five or four or o'clock. So really early morning where she start to yell in my face in the night or or touch my face with her paws oh, yeah. and if I ignore her and I pretend to be dead she start to <laughs> run uh, throwing the entire home and jump in my stomach and then jump again and start to run in the other direction <laughs> yeah. five or six times at night and she is really um, determined <laughs> yes to... that is what happened that what happens most of the time they they de we are defeated because they have a stronger will than we have we humans are very impatient well, animals are very patient. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they don't care having to yell for two hours. They know that at the end you're just going to kind of kill yourself or kill the cat. So they are just like, <laughs> at some point he has to get up. <laughs> <laughs> but if that happens for two straight weeks at, with no results, like, you know, with no food in the plate at 3 a.m. in the morning, they'll just stop. <sighs> I, I try with her, but no, she... Find a new way to jump or on our stomach and <laughs> harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the stupid thing is that when she do this thing, I wake up uh, um, not not smiling, uh, ridendo, uh, uh, ridere, right, uh, laughing. Because it's a, such a stupid thing <laughs> that make me loud a lot. Loud. Yeah. Yeah, In the night. cats are mystical creatures. You either love them or hate them, but there is not. <laughs> like, you know, just... No, no not. Really. Not. <laughs> yeah, you know, just... Not caring much about it, no, that there is no point with that with cats. It's like, or hate them or love them. Yeah, this is quite no middle point. No, okay. I cut all pieces, so tell me when you are ready. 
<laughs> I have only got three. <laughs> but, but, this is my job. <laughs> I am a bit faster, luckily. <laughs> Yeah, no, but yeah, so it's going to take a while, so please <laughs> have a little bit of patience with me. Yeah, yeah no, no problem. I am not in a rush. The main ones, because uh, I want to see how I can cut the, the little ones in a more efficient way, just not four of them, and maybe only two. So <laughs> right now I'm Preparing the detail on the big, big pieces. I've cut the main ones and I'm just tracing up the little one. Perfect. Hi, Okay. Okay, give me a moment, please. Like the pattern, the edges does not have to be exact, right? Like only the one that is a straight line. <laughs> Please say yes. <laughs> you can actually come back to it uh, later, so little, the little details. So if it's not okay. perfect, it's uh, it's one. okay, I think. But we'll wait for the master to answer them. <laughs> And yeah, she's back. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was asking, is it okay if it's not exactly the same pattern? Because no this problem. is going to give me nightmares. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't know. I, I, I know. Um, there are faders. So they can be uh, like you prefer. I draw okay, them good. on the pattern to make understandable the pattern. But you can... Mm. Yeah, because this one looks like a saw, yep. and these others are our curvy and... <laughs> I, I know, I know. <laughs> but but I'm not being able to do them exactly as no, the no, no, that we have. No, 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 it's not a time. problem. Me too, I, I don't replicate exactly all these shapes, because uh, I modify them later, and maybe I will prefer a different shape, so it's not a problem. Um, okay. I put them just to make understandable where uh, there will be faders and where um, uh, there have to be, has to be, we need a smooth line, straight line, okay. Okay, ah, yeah. Apologize. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Also, I think maybe the more rough the edge, the more like organic the feathers will look. Yeah. Thank you for the encouragement because I was starting to get very frustrated. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to create a nightmare. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a nightmare. I enjoy it, but still, because I'm I'm a perfectionist, so I'm like, oh, why oh. is it not exactly? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, feathers are free. More are um, different one from the other, more will look natural, the result. Good. I like that. This is um, a thing that helped in this project because also if you will glue in a different way from me your pieces one and two, uh, this material is quite flexible and elastic, so you will um, able to glue um, easily these strips around the mask. Oh, yeah. 
It's a friendly material. <laughs> I am quite hungry. <laughs> What time is it for you there? Two, two of the night, 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Thank you for staying up this late to help us out. <laughs> no, no, no problem. It's my pleasure. Thank to you. Oh no. There we go. Sarah? These are oh, I'm actually, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um this is these are my one in one pieces. Okay. They've got yeah, I have a curve. Yep. Just a slight curve here. Are they meant to be straight, the slide? <laughs> It's it's right this shape. Okay. Now I will explain to you how to glue them together because this okay. shape maintains the mm, round profile that right. mm, in this way. Yeah. I see. Is not I see. Okay. Is not more um, uh, very visible but uh, in my opinion make differ makes difference. Um, it's better than a flat mm, surface but if you will if you want change the shape mm, this is your pattern <laughs> thanks i look in a clock down maybe experience the material list um i, I had a little question also yep. about the materials um I am not sure about the, I mean, I didn't know anything about the primer, like the paint primer, like, I mean, and again, it's not like art stores here are open, so I'm having to uh, improvise mm, okay. a lot. Okay, <laughs> the plastic. Yeah. Hmm. Like, it's a um, spray gum. That is used um, to pimp cars. Oh, also that is going to help because car manufacturing is open, so I can try to find that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they use this gum as a base, and or they mix uh, a transparent um, gum with pigments to create shadows, draws, and they apply apply this uh, thin layer of gum that can be removed, rip it off from the car without ruin the, oh. the varnish um, okay. under that. Good. Okay, so I'm going to definitely... But start maybe that. you can find an online store because it's a really big brand, Plastidip. Plastidip is... A particular brand there are many other brands I suggest this one but you can choose what you prefer but maybe yeah. there is an online shop of plastic yeah I think is that I mean I did not find it here in Colombia oh so that's okay. what I was asking but if you ask for something similar or maybe tell them this about this brand maybe they understand. Yeah, they yeah. be able to know what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, I think, yeah. I hope, yes. I am. Maestra Lisa de Materiali. 
I can find my list. Ok, qua. Alt. Oh. Kingsmith, open over. 10 per 8. Ok. Birds. You can use your also latex, but latex mm, latex has a shorter life. Yeah, I had I had to use latex at some point, and um, I studied a little bit of industrial designing before my lungs failed for me in the career. So I was not able to keep up with it because, you know, all the materials that you had to use. So, yeah, my lungs were not happy. So I had a bad, a bad asthmatic crisis and my doctor said, like, you cannot keep on working with those materials. Mm. And yes, latex is complicated. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. And it's not easy to find here. Well, I mean, we produce it, but it's like, yeah, you have to get some permits to be able to buy some of that. Oh. Oh, sorry, I, I had my mic off. I, 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 um, and I, I was saying that if you do not find plastic, yep. one thing you will find easily is white glue. Oh. And you can uh, actually like take... Like the normal vinyl glue? Yes. You okay. just take that, add a little bit of water, and it actually makes a perfect sealant for, uh, for this foam. Because the idea is to have a, a sealant more than anything else. So yeah, I thought will, about that. So you will want to actually uh, close the cells because those are lots of little cells. So this craft foam is very good because the cells are already almost completely closed. But you close them with heat. So you, you take a heat gun. And then you, you will see the surface is going to, to, to change a, a little bit. It will be more dull. And then you apply plastidip. That's the best thing to do, as Sarah said. But if you don't have it, you take white glue, a little bit of water in it, and you just apply it. And it's exactly the same thing. It will give exactly the same effect for a lot cheaper. Well, thank you for that tip. <laughs> That's it. And white blue you can find it in Colombia. <laughs> yeah, you find it everywhere. Like, I mean, <laughs> because yeah, I was like, okay, plastic. And I was like Googling it. And it was like, it was impossible. Like, not even in Panamericana. And I was like, okay, but not even in Panamericana, I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah. It's a I've really good idea. I've got a friend who uses um, flex bond instead. Yeah. Because I think, isn't the thing that's important that it um, is flexible like it will move kind of with the foam exactly it's a kind of latex but it's not latex it's gum yeah. ah, it, i've never used flex bond before i've only heard her talk about it and actually the thing is if you don't do that um well first you have not sealed your your foam and that is not very good but not even uh, dirt. no right no, not really. It's just that uh, it's still very bendy. I, I, I don't know. It's um, it's not so elastic. Close the cells. Hmm? It's not so elastic, flex bone. Ah, okay. Um, oh, okay. Um, and, and, the, and the thing is, the problem is with the paint afterwards because if you don't add that, the paint will crack. Mm -hmm. And that is also have, what I thought. And if you have, and if you have that, the paint does not crack. So that's yeah. really for for the finishing. Yeah, but I also thought about that that it should be to have something to do with with the paint sticking to the foam. Mm. Okay. It sticks well to the foam, but it cracks if you don't put anything. Okay. <laughs> and it's very messy. Mm -hmm. Very fast. You, you don't have something very durable. Yeah, I, I was supposing. For the white glue, that is a great idea. I will try. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, I know that there is a outer, outside kind of this glue. 
Um, Sorry. It's true. Cioè, there is the vi vinyl glue uh, for the outside that is uh, water resistant when dry. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. But, uh, but what I use is PVA, just normal white glue. Mm -hmm. If I want to do something, I, I usually have a, a big thing. Mm -hmm. as I, yeah. But not. PDA that's washable, and I made that mistake before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I made... such a thing until somebody came back from a supply run with it, very pleased with themselves. How is going, Luisa? So, Sarah, do, do you do the, the <laughs> you do the details after gluing, Sarah? I used to. You do the detail after you glue. Yep. Uh, yep, because um, create the the shape of the mask, the entire mask, helped me to draw the details in the right way. Okay, I'll see. When I do it on a um, separate piece, maybe I uh, make uh, the wrong uh, direction or I cannot control oh. the result. Yeah, that's, that is what I thought. Uh, but it can be done uh, also on several pieces if. Uh, someone is able or like it more there is no n n there is not only one one way this no, is no, but I, I was just making sure because it, it was the most logical thing but uh, well just asking uh, I, I am show you I am showing you my way to work and there are a ton of different way. <laughs> to create something similar or this exactly thing. So this is just one of thousand, thousand. So I still have to cut out like two, four, six of the small ones, so. Okay. <laughs> Be a little patient. <laughs> Geneva, uh, your pattern is, your mask is okay. You need help? Yep. Yep, it's gliding okay so far. I've got uh, four more of the small ones to cut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nightmare pieces. I'm sorry. I'm the slow cat here. That's no, the pattern. I, I, I didn't even and, and start I cutting the small ones in, uh, because I want to cut the small ones after on the Ah, but you are fast. I, I, I did only the big ones. Okay. I cut um, all pieces because I am not um, able to stay still. <laughs> I touch. And <laughs> I do think things. Oh yeah, this is why I prepared. I, I drew all the lines, also on the big pieces, all, all the lines that you did. Oh, were... all, all? No, 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 because I, I want it to be very organic. So this is why also I wanted. I asked you about the detail and okay. how you did it. But no, no, but just the big ones to know where it overlaps and and everything to have it directly on on the piece, so it's easier. Perfect. To have, the, yep. to have the lines. I don't know if you can 
Uh, a bit. Okay, okay, perfect. The glue line. Yeah, yeah. that will be uh, uh, a, a decision, a decision yeah. moment. <laughs> there will be two way to glue that piece. One overlapping, two on the one, and the other cutting this centimeter to mm -hmm. glue the profile. The second way is harder, and the mask will be a bit um, delicate, more delicate, but will be also more uh, precise be because the overlapping glue uh, will be not visible because there will be not. Mm -hmm. And so... <laughs> You will uh, make a choice. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> if there is a more difficult way, usually that's the one I choose. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like to challenge myself. Me too. <laughs> or if you have a rotary tool, a Dremel or sandpaper, oh, yeah. you can overlap. That is the best way. Overlap and then um, oh, send it, um, send it that. smoother yeah. the surface. I no, I did not. <laughs> I didn't do it in this mask. But yes, you can reduce the the angle and create a smoother surface. In this way, the mask will be um, nicer to see and uh, will remain robust in the best mm -hmm. way. Yes, I, I, I have a rotary tool, I have a, the mini sander, I, I don't... You have all. <laughs> yeah, I have too many things, yeah. Uh, Definitely, we can agree on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am super equipped for all these things. I mean, I do have a rotary tool, and I, I mean, I do not have a sanding machine, though. But I do have a rotary oh. tool, but yeah. Oh, not good. Not as much as you guys. Oh, uh, you, you can do the sanding with uh, with the rotary tool a lot, and you also have special sanding tools uh, for subtracting foam and things like those. And uh, oh, I haven't used it in, in quite a, some time. Um, you might be seeing my cat right now. Uh, my other cat. She's behind me. Oh, actually, no, she's not on the desk. Uh, uh, mine too. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing up here? Uh, you guys have very similar cats. <laughs> I have three cats. <laughs> you have a Dremel. No. No, that's not a Dremel. That's a. See, this is a special tool. Okay. This is just for sending. Okay. But it's super small, super precise sending tool. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it, it does only sending, and you have different heads that you can put, like triangle, uh, every, cha every shape. And, um, and instead of being rotary, it goes back and forth like a normal sander. Oh. So that, that's a, a mini sander for when you do. Ah, I never sander. saw that. Cool. That's really handy. Yeah. That's, uh, okay. Again, that is very specialized material that you um, Actually, this, this one I saw with... Um, oh, uh, what's his name? Oh, he's a super nice guy who does incredible uh, craft. Uh, an American. Um, uh, Bill Duran. Bill Duran is incredible. Bill Duran. What kind of uh, props? Everything. <laughs> He is incredible, really. Builder Han. Yes. And he was 
he was the one uh, telling me to, to, to get that for some sending, and uh, and he was right. This is absolutely great. Hmm. I, you were talking about 3D printing before, and that's also something I do. I have a group of about 3D printing for people who do cosplay and things like those. And he's a part of my group, and he's a the master's guy. Very helpful. Does lots of tutorial. Is oh. uh, is great. Can can you when and if you have, have time, put his page link because okay. I cannot find. Maybe my spelling is wrong. It's spelled D O R A N. Yes, exactly. D O R A N. And oh, his uh, shop is, is Punished Crafts. Punished Crafts, exactly. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it into group. Oh, just going back to my computer for that. I don't mind. Okay. No, it's yours. Mm. Okay. Someone has a. Super nice birds. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Someone has beautiful, beautiful birds singing. Uh, yeah, it's a fairy sound. I like so much the work of Miss Monster. <coughs> I don't know if someone, some of you know her work, her masks. Who? Miss Monster, Melita Carfi. Oh no. No. I don't think no, so. I don't. <laughs> Four pieces left. I'm almost there. <laughs> okay. Gatto. So I, I just put this page on the on the. Oh, group thank exam. you very much. <laughs> so funny, my cat is paying like so much attention. She's like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, yeah, a ton of attention. Yeah. It's so cute. If you can see her face, it's like so funny. But She's I'm looking at me like, you're crazy. <laughs> but I don't have any cats, but I can hear the birds outside my window. They're very, very loud. Oh, oh okay. so you're the one. <laughs> yeah. I, I was listening. It's like, it can't be me. No one would be able to hear that from like this little <laughs> microphone that I have in my headphones. I'm like, no, no, that, that's definitely the birds outside my window. Ah, a, a flock. <laughs> yeah, so if it's, a, if it's Australian birds, then uh, they are very nice birds singing, but they want to kill you. Am I right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> in mating season, yeah. So in spring, when they have their baby, they will you walk past them, they'll scream you. So the magpies, they come down. And, you know, you walk past the tree where they have their nest and their babies and they'll fly down close and kind of attack because they don't want you to come near their babies. No. So you see people, and especially people on bicycles and their helmet, and they put cable ties so they're sticking up and spiking and wobbling. So the birds will look at the cable ties on the helmet and they're like, what is that? 
That's bigger than me. I'm not going to swoop at that. Yeah. That oh, wow. Crazy. I had no idea about that. Oh, you, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you Google, if you Google magpies and, and, and Australia, you will see the craziest things, the craziest hats with ice, <laughs> yeah. ice everywhere around the, the head also, and crazy things. Australians have incredible imagination to try and uh, and avoid the magpies at mating season. So yeah, also birds I mean, try to kill them. <laughs> I, also, I always said, like, spiders. I'm not sure <laughs> if I want to live in Australia just because of the spiders and the snakes. But now knowing that the birds attack you, <laughs> I'm kind of like adding that to the list of why to avoid Australia. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's not just the snakes and the spiders. You also have basically everything. Because <laughs> everything <laughs> wants to kill you. Yeah. yeah. The weather is horrible. It's too hot all the time. Um, <laughs> it's just... I want to move to the snow. I want to move to Norway one day. That would be perfect. Norway. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that's a bit extreme. No, 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 no. It's, it's just, beautiful. it's so hot here. Like, it's just, like, it's okay now because we're coming into, um, we're coming into winter. So it's autumn. It's like, it's rainy. It's, it's nice. I can wear a pair of jeans and a jumper and I'm comfortable. It's okay. <laughs> But in summer, it's horrible. It gets like I live quite in the middle of the city, and I my my bedroom gets to easily forty degrees Celsius. Oh my ah, god! I oh, I get to it's <laughs> really hot. Yeah, ah. it's it's crazy. Yeah, and I've got friends who live um in a place that's maybe forty minutes drive west of here. And the land is like a valley, and so mm -hmm. the heat sits in the valley, and out there it gets like 45 easily. It's, just, no. It, it's no. crazy. It's too much. No, I would not. Too much. I would not be able to do that. <laughs> it's too much heat, indeed. I used yep. to. Uh, I used to live in the Yukon, and <laughs> and close to, which is close to Alaska, uh, and we would. In the winter, regularly get to minus 35 Celsius. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I prefer that. At least with no. with cold weather, you just put on lots no. of clothes no. and I don't know, no. put a heater on and have yeah. hot cocoa. No. But when it's like burning, no. how do you survive? Like no. you can't take off your skin. In you Australia, all do anything. You literally just spend your time. You put on the air conditioner, the fan, and you try not to move because if you move, you create body heat. So mm. it's just, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Exactly. Like you, you find a spot and you get your book or you play a video game and you do nothing. You just try not to go anywhere. Yeah, no, uh, I mean that you know. level of heat, I, I would not be able to survive there. <laughs> I was supposed to to come to to Australia before uh, before all this happened, and uh, unfortunately, I have to wait to to go there. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I actually, I accepted uh, because it was for for a job, and I needed to 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 go there for for some time. And uh, I, I really accept it because I really, really want to, to see Australia. Mm -hmm. Every Australian I've met so far are really the nicest people I met. So mm -hmm. uh -huh. That is true. No, yeah. uh, I, I think there, there is a conspiracy. Like mm -hmm. uh, Canadians and Australians are trying to, to, to do a battle to see who will be the nicest <laughs> the world. And we never know who wins. I think it's sometimes one wins and sometimes it's the other. Mm. But uh, I don't know. Yeah. You've forgotten about New Zealanders. New oh. Zealand has New Zealanders, the yeah. perfect climate mm. and the like. They people are wonderful. Yeah. The, the climate view. is beautiful. Mm. Oh, yes. They have every possible climate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the view, like the scenery, is absolutely wonderful. I have a good friend. He's from New Zealand, and he's always like telling me, "Hey, come over," and I'm like, "Yeah, it's super awesome." <laughs> well, Remember, we're in Colombia, South America. That is expensive. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful too. Uh, 
I was there for a while in Colombia, and it's uh, it's a great country. I, I like it a lot. I love it. And, and people. It has its in Cuba, <laughs> but I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been to America or South America. I've seen like a bit of Europe and um, lots of Asia, but I've never been to South America, not yet. I think I'll get yeah. fat off all the good food when I do. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm done. Finally. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe. Maybe. Woo. 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 Perfect. So, the first thing is read the glue instruction. <laughs> uh, read the glue instruction. If your glue said put a thin layer and wait 10 minutes until this is no more sticky and then push together the two pieces, follow these rules because Otherwise, this glue will not work. <laughs> okay? It's really important which glues respect the, uh, their rules. rules. So, in my case... Logical. Hmm? Actually, the first time you hear that, it doesn't seem very logical. But actually, the glue needs to be completely dry, and only then does it stick perfectly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, mm -hmm. it's weird. It's weird. See, it, it, it's weird, yes. Yes. But I have a lot of friends that use the same glue that I use and told me, no, no, this glue doesn't work, does, doesn't not work, doesn't not work. I speak I speak with them and then I discovered that they put a ton of glue and press and press and press and they have not read the instruction, but are important. If you have gloves, wear them and uh, take a little piece of, uh, of scrap foam and this will help you put the glue. Like a spatula, yes. If you, if you are more comfortable, yes. First thing. <laughs> First thing what the cat said. Yes. Next. <laughs> Se arrabbiatissima. She wants me in the bed, I think. Okay. We, <laughs> I believe that was very <laughs> uh, We will start with piece two. Okay. Perfect. We have to glue the um, curve part, the one without feathers, with the other. Okay. To um, create is exactly the angle, you have to put the glue on the edge of one piece, the profile, and on the inside of the other piece to glue them in a perpendicular way. Okay? Try to be precise and glue um, near to the edge of the pieces. If you will not precise, you uh, will um, have to repeat the pattern and the foam cutting. Uh, uh, apologies. Uh, what? <laughs> You'll have to repeat. The no, 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 no. No, you can cut. You can cut the excess with scissors or um, cutter or uh, modify it. Try to be more precise that you can. But if uh, there is some extra millimeters, mm -hmm. there is no problem. Sarah, are yep. we going to take it all the way down to the bottom? Like all the way right to here? Um, like would we go? Yeah, uh, from uh, here. Okay. To here. On, oh, okay. on the pattern, uh, there is a orange line. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not gotcha. the feather. Um, stop where uh, feathers starts, okay? Because this yeah. is the art shape on the top of the mask. Okay. 
I hate the new tubes of glue that put off a lot of material, like a well, fountain. Yeah, I just <laughs> had a problem and I'm very happy to have gloves right now. <laughs> <laughs> So I believe, sir, you said that you're from Spain, but you live in France. Am I correct? Uh, yes. Oh, interesting. I've been, well, I've been living all around the world, basically. Wow. But uh, I'm a, I've been in France for many years. Okay, well, this dries. I'm going to go and open the door for my husband, okay? Yep. <laughs> Geneva, all okay? It's all okay? Except for, for some glue catastrophe, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have a new tube and it's just gone everywhere. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so glue catastrophe all around the world. So. Yeah. <laughs> the same problem. On different glue, mm -hmm. of glues, yeah. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Oh, no problem. How is this? Oh, it's almost like this. No, it's just too much time because it's like only 10 seconds and I took like, I don't know. I'll just wait a little bit more. <laughs> okay. I don't want to end up screwing it up. Just to show you, this is how I glue them. Uh, I will fix them later with a rotary tool because I have a rotary tool and I... Uh, <laughs> I have to use it. It's uh, <laughs> something that I have to do. But um, this is less or more what you are trying to do. Um, Perfect. Yep. To split okay. off in this way. I think I'm missing it on the other side. I have an, addic an addiction from Rotary Tool. <laughs> <laughs> Can fix almost everything. There. Perfect, I think, yeah. Well, I can see the imperfection because I'm closer, but uh, you also mm -hmm. have a rush picture. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> now I'm going to only see the imperfection and be like, I need a rotary tool. <laughs> exactly. That's, uh, that's how you get one. That's the idea. <laughs> uh, press with your finger from the, fro uh, for from the front and the bottom to... 
squeeze the form Okay, I've got mine too. Perfect. All right. Super. Thanks. <laughs> Super clean. Amazing. Almost there. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised because I took a chance on the glue, but it appears <laughs> to be working. Great. Because I, I bought... Uh, it's for fixing umbrellas. Ah, oh, okay. Is that okay? I think yes. It's strong enough. It's well glued. You can open it without have fear. Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me grow a little bit of confidence to try to do that. <laughs> not with too much strong, but. Oh, yeah, hi, Terry. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 I'm so sorry. It's no problem. Been a, quite a hectic day. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. It's not a problem. Not a problem. Actually, if you need like any kind of help, like I mean, I believe that this is being recorded, so you can just go back. And if you have any questions about any part of it, just ask in the group. And I mean. I'm not that good at this, but we, I, I'll be happy to answer you, and I'm sure that everyone else will be as well. Wonderful. Of course. Good. And bye. Wow. Oh, yeah, I think it's pretty enough. I mean, it does not look like it's ripping open. So Perfect. I like Thanks. that. <laughs> I'm quite excited now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Terry, we are gluing uh, the foam pieces together. So, if in the meantime you can cut your pattern, mm -hmm. draw it on your foam, and mm -hmm. cut the pieces. Okay, then uh, we will see when we uh, remain online. Tonight, today, to today. <laughs> I don't know yes. today, tonight. Um, if you will remain a bit back, I we can organize a two people session where I okay. can explain you and take you at at the same point. To the next step. Yeah. Yep. Wonderful. <laughs> Apologize for my English. <laughs> Well, no, don't. Really I, I knew what you were saying, so don't worry. Thank you. There is she a dog. English. She's just very modest. I, yeah. I see a, 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 um, a tail. Ah, uh, no oh tail. Um, oh, no tail. So this is my dog, Callie. Hi, Callie. Hello. And this is Tinka. Hi. Hi, Tinka. <laughs> and I have, I, um, in Canada, we have something called the British Columbia SPCA. It's a Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. And I volunteer and I often have newborn kittens that I bottle feed in between work. Wow. And so I currently have six cats here as well. All yeah. <laughs> going near me so that then they can see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's great. Who likes me a cat up on the wall? <laughs> wow. Well, I'm petting one of my dogs because we have rules in this house, so he was on his back on the couch, so that that calls for belly rubbing, that's a, that's a house rule, so that's why I do, <laughs> so uh, you, you won't need to call uh, for cruelty for animals, but even if they tell you otherwise, because uh, I'm certain they will tell you that... Uh, they don't get enough belly rubs. Or they're all starved. Okay. All you guys uh, glue the two pieces? Yes. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. Okay, then. 
we have to work with the pieces one. Okay. Okay. Same thing. Um, perpendicular um, pieces and glue on the profile of one and the edge, the inside edge of the other. Okay. Uh, yep. Where exactly are you gluing? Because there oh, is no sorry. Overlap. This part. Uh, there is a cure. Okay. Okay. And on your pattern, mm, there will be a orange uh, line. Yes. Perfect. I have it. Because my pattern is printed in black and white. So. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And I have some something to to show you when glue is drying. While glue, glue is, dry, is drying, um, we can work on a big, big. Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because there are a lot of words with the same letters, so similar, and I, <laughs> I think that in one of my live video on Facebook. I call it ma the tinsmith all the time, Antike soldering tools, soldier tools. I soldier think. tools. Yeah, epic gaff. <laughs> Two hours of video, online, live, with the soldier tools. Yeah. But you, you're more great than me, that's why I, I try never to, to talk Italian, because with Spanish I mix everything. So I understand Italian perfectly, but every time I, I rather not speak, because uh, it's, well, it's Spanish that comes. <laughs> it's better than me. I don't understand perfectly Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> that's because we speak too fast. Oh. <laughs> So, um, meanwhile, if all of you agree, we can draw on the big sides mm -hmm. um, the line that you can see on the pattern. There is a hole and a short line. I suggest to put the paper piece on the form and press with a pen to let uh, the a bit engraving then you can take off the paper and redraw it with a pen be careful uh, to do this thing on different sides right <laughs> like this perfect <laughs> <laughs> Super fast with all tools. No, I, I, I did it before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took some advance when I was waiting. And I, I, that's why I drew everything on the pattern also. There's all the, <laughs> the line. Okay. Stai uccidendo il topo, gatto? Sì, sì, uccidi, uccidi. E 
also it's not my first project with phone, so that's why it's a bit easier for me, I guess. Yeah, maybe a bit, because my first project was super scary. <laughs> <laughs> I started with tatami. The, the grey one thick tatami that um, we use in gym under the heavy uh, heavy machine. <laughs> that material was my first one. Wow. That basically is this material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I used to use the, the big ones, the one centimeter ones. And it's, it was pretty difficult to, to work with. Yeah, because rotary tools make a lot of um, dust, but mm -hmm. it's uh, super thin dust and it's fly everywhere and uh, rotary tools needs some time to eat the material it's yes. quite boring <laughs> yeah plastazote has a my density plastazote has a less density so i can work faster with dremel mm -hmm. it's also faster uh, it's also easier uh, ruin the piece but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and there is different densities with plastic up. Mm -mm. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. Can I change? Mm -hmm. But foam is great because you can do so many things with foam. It's uh, incredible. In, indeed, indeed. Yeah. I, I, at one point, I, I was working for a play, and um, and, and the director wanted to have. Um, it was for. Um, uh, I can't remember. Um, and a uh, figure. And uh, and at some point, Figaro uh, beats up someone with an, uh, an oar for the boat. Okay. Okay. A big wooden. And um, they wanted to use a real wooden oar, and I, I said, "This is crazy. You're going to kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're doing." Uh, so I just. Took a few foam mats and quickly did uh, a, a big or is a PVC pipe. Yeah. And then I painted it and it looked like wood, even more than wood from the bar because it was more like Disney wood. <sighs> and it was super light. And, uh, and this way we managed not to have uh, an actor killed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <it was dead. laughs> And, and they were and actors are crazy because uh, they would eat just so hard with that that they broke four. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and and it's still a PVC pipe, so it can still hurt. And I was just huh. very happy oh. to, to to not have them use a wooden one because. Uh, and and after it was as the director said, oh, but we, we still have to change them all the time, so it's not good. And I said, yes, because your your actors are crazy. <laughs> it's just what? so... And I said, well, if you want, just use a wooden one, but you, you lose actors and the, not the ore, it's your choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he preferred making more. <laughs> it's a better choice, I said. It's a But uh, yeah, it's very useful for, for that. Can do basically a, a, anything. Just like, yeah, on the movie set, I did a night in in in, in five minutes, just with that. Also, <laughs> and you you use a, a, an aluminium tape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and actually, when you have finished your your shape with the foam, you just put aluminium tape on it. And it looks like metal. Oh. 
So it's in, oh, in, in, that's in, cool. And on camera, it looks exactly like that. Yeah. So uh. you, so uh, I had a, a scene, and this, there was this uh, woman killing someone, and, and and they did not have props. So uh, I just, uh, and I saw she was not comfortable with using the real weapon. So I said, okay, don't worry. I, mean, <laughs> I just went and did the, the knife and came back with this fake knife and with this tape. This. And so this way we, we could have safer thing. Yes, sometimes you have to do just create props just yep. on directly. That's why I'm very familiar with that. I'm pretty used to, to doing it, and then, and not with nice ladies like that uh, at home and and calmly you know, on, on big pets with crazy people running around <laughs> and trying to. <laughs> Trying to kill one another with real weapons. <laughs> okay. How are your pieces? Good. Thanks. Good. Yeah, good. Perfect. Sturdy. So perfect. Sturdy is important. Big. Same thing. Um, we start from the sides and we glue always in the same way with a 19 degree um, joint point. Yeah. Okay. Keep your um, draw it line outside, obviously. <laughs> okay. It's a bit like a puzzle. Huh. <laughs> a very easy one. Yeah. <laughs> <the number. laughs> yeah. Done? Yep. Uh, just glue, or the glue, glue is on, but it's not dry yet. Yes. Same. Same. Okay. When you have to glue these um, spiky pieces, uh, try to start gluing from the the, the tip, okay? To uh, um, from the tip to the bottom. Uh, in this way, the um, thinner part will be more precise, just in case you uh, stretch one side more than the other, because with um, plastic and elastic material, it can happen that maybe working you uh, stretch a bit more one side. And it's better um, have a precise tip than bottom. Mm -hmm. You can cut and mm, correct the bottom easier. Okay. Okay, it looks kind of funky. <laughs> uh, can you... Uh, 
Um, ok, aspetta. Wait, wait, wait. One moment, please. Ok, yeah. Uh, with the rotary tool, we, you will, uh, you will um, make the, uh, the spike uh, round. So uh, there will be no more uh, the, the angle on a side of the, his beak. <laughs> Okay. Like a broken nose. Hmm? Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> My, mine too. Uh. Mine too. It's the same. Okay. Just to check, press the two pieces together and if you, like me, have this situation here that is not perfectly the same, cut the excess especially in the curved part because now we have to glue um, the bottom and it's better have um, specular sides To the bottom, we put glue on the profile of the already done beak and here and on the one side of the triangle, okay, because we will glue, it's difficult to show you, in this way, like a Mm, card castle I made a longer triangle so you can cut off the excess on the bottom. I made it a bit longer because it's better take it off <laughs> than the opposite. Or maybe you can also um, Keep it. Uh, this part will be hide under the nose, so there are no many differences. So, the great thing with um, with foam clay is now you can add if you if you mm -hmm. do yeah. something. Yeah. Is this? <laughs> we we could not before. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Oh, ah, wow! Ha! Huh. Yeah! It's just great! <laughs> okay, yeah. yes! Yeah! Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah! You are now I add this one? Yeah! You are super okay. fast! <laughs> okay! Oh my <laughs> god! You already got so that's what I forgot to, and I was like, you know what? I'll just leave cutting out pieces, the ones that you've already glued, 
and I'll do what you're doing, and then I can catch that other stuff up later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Smart girl. Smart yes, sir. Girl. Yeah, super fast. Okay. Then I, uh, uh, and this is the bottom, in this way. You can see the the triangle that... Style. Ah, okay. Okay. You um, glue the piece that you have um, already done on the base. After that, you will need pieces two. One um, for each side. Super fast. <coughs> what time is it, uh, Terry, in your country? Six p. Almost six p.m. Huh. Oh, that's so satisfying. Yeah, oh, I'm happy to hear that. Oh. We are full of animals. Also, your dog, uh, Shauna, was really, really cool. Oh. <laughs> I see I see him her before. Why? Yeah. With a brown spot of, on oh, the ear. Yeah. yeah, she's super cute. She's asleep on the kitchen floor right now. It's, uh, it's super, it's really hot here. It's already, it's already summer. <laughs> I am the <here. laughs> I'm happy with my beautiful um, spring weather, eternal spring weather. Huh. Oh, perfect. <laughs> it is perfect, yes. <laughs> Always around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Don't oh, that's a big deal. All the years? All year round. Oh. Sometimes it's very rainy and sometimes it's just very sunny. Tropical weather, so... That's a good thing about it. Uh, hot, uh, hot Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well, here in Colombia, this is kind of like a cold city, so everyone is like, oh, it's so freezing up there, and I'm like, I think it's quite fine, because normally tropical weather is very hot. Mm -hmm. But it's, I mean, since my city is like hot in a mountain, it's not, it's just, you know, perfect weather. <laughs> Good. Where I live in Prince Rupert in British Columbia, I live near Alaska. So if you look at a picture of North America, where I live is only a few hours from Alaska, but I live in a microclimate, so it rains here almost every day. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> you guys are close to Haida Gwaii, right? Yeah, I'm very, very close to Haida Gwaii. I to get to Haida Gwaii, you have to 
Okay. Yeah. Paraguay is magical. Yeah. I was able to visit a couple of times. It's Haida Gwaii is a, um, an archipelago. It's a yes. cluster of islands all together that are still that are part of that microclimate. So it's close to Alaska, which of course is you know snow covered most of the time. But it's Haida Gwaii is partially rainforest. Wow. It's oh, a wow. Big, oh wow! It's the same here in Prince Rupert. Mm-hmm. It, it, we're just a bit rainier. <laughs> Here it's kind of like it rains one day, but what next one it doesn't rain, and then it rains again. And well, that is kind of like you know because the weather here is very unpredictable, <laughs> and also well you know with the global warming and all that good stuff, um, all, like the dry season has been getting longer and the rainy season has been getting longer. So when it's rainy season now, it's like pouring all the time. It doesn't stop raining. <laughs> So it rains every day for at least four, five, or six hours, and then when it's sunny time, it's like, you know, sun, and also sunburn here is like really bad. Wow. So, yeah, here the weather, it's, it's, it's tropical, you can just, there's no way to describe it. <laughs> We've got a big storm warning that's been released here in Sydney. Um so apparently this weekend we're likely to have winds of I think they said it was like seventy kilometers or so. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah, so it's a it's so a big one. Everyone I know is like kind of at the point where they're making sure their guttering is not loose and making sure the houses are okay. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it will turn out okay. Yeah, well, fingers crossed. We do what we can and, you know, make the best of it. Australia has been having some hard blows lately. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the bushfires were ridiculous. I, um, <laughs> I really wanted to go on a road trip for, like, in my Christmas holidays. And I've got a friend who's from the UK and he has a van. And he went back to the UK and he left me the van and it was great. I put a mattress in the back. I was going to drive down the coast and sleep in the back of the van on the beach and go to the national park and sleep in the forest. And then all the places I wanted to go burnt down. Oh, so, my God. Yeah, I didn't get my road trip. I haven't really had much of a holiday. It's just, you know, straight from that into COVID. <laughs> That's part of life. <laughs> Yeah, it's insane. Mine is kind of messy. I've got a bit of glue everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) It's normal. It's normal. If you have a rotary tool, at the end of the gluing part, you can take the glue off uh, using gently your rotary tool or sandpaper. If you have not... Yeah, I've got a Dremel. Perfect. I can use a Dremel. Yeah. Then you know what I am what I am talking about. I think I'm gonna send it by hand though, hmm? because I'm not happy with this part of the beak. Like the pointy part, it's not pointy at all. So I want to get it pointy. Try to work with a uh, um, nice scissors, small scissors, hmm. and uh, give mm, to your beak your beak the right direction just a bit gently because it's a thin this material yes this material is very thin yep. 
He can end up with a hold. <laughs> How does this look? Is this right? Yeah. That's the book. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a pro. You. <laughs> You don't need my tutorial. <laughs> it's not going to cook it though. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it maybe on the video, but it's it's actually crooked. Yeah. It's going a little uh, right. <laughs> I kind of understand, yeah. I'm like trying to fix mine as well. It's like okay, I'll sand it. <laughs> Yeah, but the great difference um, is made by uh, the direction, because the direction will is not uh, perpendicular but vertical, <laughs> and these change everything. Well, also the color, yellow, <laughs> does yeah. not help. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, Terry, you have to glue uh, pieces two together uh -huh. and uh, with a perpendicular inclination like the profile of the beak. So you put the glued gl the glue on one profile and on the other piece you put inside on the near to the edge it's okay. important glue only this part the um, smooth one not the one with feathers because you okay. have to obtain this shape okay on the pattern there is a orange line where you have to to glue. Where I glue? Okay. Yep. I've got one piece of number two cut out. I'm cutting out the second piece. Perfect. Perfect. You are so fast that we will wait for you. So uh, we proceed together to glue the beak and this part to the chin. So I'm just grabbing more coffee, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I have a six uh, cup mocha <laughs> in my kitchen. Oh my god. Yeah. Now I'm happy with hot cocoa or tea. <laughs> Ah, hot cocoa, yeah, no, no, uh, usually yes, me too, I drink a lot of tea, but for tonight, I needed coffee. <laughs> yeah, if it's two in the morning, definitely you would need oh, coffee. In the morning? Oh my goodness. No, no coffee in the morning for me. It's three now. <laughs> it's three now, that's, that's why I was looking at, yeah. Hey, nice, that's okay. No. For me, is too much. I start talking and <laughs> do things too fast. No. Just to know, for next session, uh, all of you have um, Tinsmith or Pyrograph or something like that, or not? Yeah, I've got a, like a soldering iron, so I've got one. Perfect. That is the one, like a tinsmith is the one that you use like to, for example, stick to cables with a little bit of soldering. I don't know how it's called in English. Yes, solder. Yeah. Yes, solder. I yeah. show That's you. That's the tinsmith, right? Uh, something like this. Oh, yes. Perfect. 
I, I had a paragraph because I used to do a lot of it. Actually, I'm going to show you one that I have here really close. I loved it, but it broke down like six months ago and I haven't replaced it. Gatto. <laughs> So this was the kind of arts and crafts that I was into. Oh, it's really oh, nice. Wow. That's so detailed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Tara, can you show me the one that I'm gluing just one more time? Yep. You have to glue. I show you on the <laughs> pattern and just here. On the long side, okay. Uh, Thank on, you. On the smooth uh, side, okay. Yeah. No. Ehi, trappola, trappola, via, e miau, via. And, what did that what, say? And by the way, yes, I... Oh, perfect. I have, <laughs> I, I have several ones, but uh, this one... Uh, <laughs> An entire collection. That's another it, level. It, it has different ads and you can yeah. actually set the temperature. Yeah, that's the one that I had. Mine broke down. And it, oh. it's very it's very useful because uh, as I'm using very thin foam I want it to be able to to just set the temperature exactly as I wanted it. In order not to go through. Uh, it's a Dremel brand. Mm -hmm. Dremel brand. No. No. You know that was um, that was a Kickstarter years ago. Oh. And uh, it's uh, it, it actually for um, doing uh, finishing work on three uh, D prints. Hmm. So that's why you can uh, just set the temperature very precisely. Yeah. Up to up to two hundred and fifty degrees or something like that. Whoa. No, I use cheap one because I broke one of them two time at years because I use them too much, and then. <laughs> well, it's your job. <laughs> yeah. I I. I Broke. Uh, I finish a lot of tools: the hot gun, the tin smith, uh, also the Dremel. Uh, I have to change it uh, every two years. Wow. Uh, because I I really work with it uh, so many hours. Some day also six hours. So. <laughs> Yeah, I believe burnout. <laughs> yeah, it's normal. I I think. Okay, like that. Oh, okay. perfect. perfect. Okay, Taha. Wow. Okay. You are so fast. Yes. <laughs> In. What is three hours and quarto? Half hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have to attack uh, the glue the beak to this part, the one part, the two part, apologize, to the front. And uh, I put the glue only on these sides, not on the bottom, because the bottom w will not glue to anything. And I draw for you 
these lines to show you where I'll put the, the glue, okay? Okay. On the other side, on the inside of the front, you have to put oh. the, the glue from the line to the up. Um, I show, I draw you in this way. Okay. To let without glue ah, okay. the feathers in this way with hot gun or uh, iron dryer, you will able to curve them outside and have a um, three-dimensional effect that is beautiful to see. Instead of all glued feather to the beak, you will spread them. Sarah, can, I, can you show me that line again? Yep. Can you show me this line? Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, great. Uh, so just go on the top here and then right in here? Yes. Okay. Letting the small spikes without glue. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Ah, c'era una zanzara. Mannaggia. Try to pass. Okay. Can you show again on the beak where you, you, you put the glue? Okay, sure. Haha. <laughs> this uh, on the beak yeah. where thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, Sarah, I missed that because I was looking at me. <laughs> I was okay. looking down. <laughs> on the beak? Yeah. Can you move the beak over a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Just uh, okay. an okay. half of centimeter yeah. at the base. You could decorate this with real feathers, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it's a, a way, yes, sure. I'm just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> with tutorial, with pattern, you can reproduce this mask in all uh, way you want. <laughs> After that, we will use the pieces one, that is the chin. Okay. I said it just for Terry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like heading out. <laughs> it is not to put you in rush, uh, just to, to tell you because maybe you have already cut all pieces, I don't know. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, but... she's super fast. <laughs> While it's drying, I can cut out. <laughs> oh, it looks super cute. <laughs> Now my beak is <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it's funny. 
it's nice. Uh, it's, it's not a uh, nice material. Oh, it's just like kind of like sideways. <laughs> Oh, I don't care. I can work with a crooked nose. <laughs> no. You will work on it later. I bet I will. Okay. I think that it's good. Yep. Yep. Good. Perfect. Just for Terry. This is one. Have to glue. Um, on this side, uh, the one a bit round. Okay. okay. Yep. You have to obtain something like that. Okay. Okay. Do we finish here for today? As you said, three hours. Um, for me, it's okay. Tell me, you too old? <laughs> I can go away as you want. Uh, but if you won't stop uh, because you need a break. Um, well, it's it's half past three, as you know. Yeah, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I mean. And, uh, <laughs> so. Now the, For me, it's the, fine. The thing is, uh, I have to to work also a bit mm -hmm. time tomorrow. Yeah. So, uh, okay. <laughs> have you an I, idea? Unfortunately, I don't have to wake up early, so that's not a problem. But. Uh, so, I guess but yeah, you should have rest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't sleep much, but I, I do need yes. to sleep. <laughs> um, I will remain here a bit to uh, help Terry, and okay. uh, then we will uh, stop here and finish to glue next time. Uh, this is the reason um, because I wrote uh, uh, three, four, or five sessions because. 
uh, internet problem, other stuff uh, can make time longer. Just a question because all of you are here. Next session. Da 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 da. <laughs> and please tell me the name of the, the day because I make a messy with um, days names. <laughs> <laughs> Just to check. When you can see us together, when you when we can see again. I mean, I, I will start because it's easier. Uh, it's any day for me. It's okay. Any any in any week. Day. Okay. Any day for me is fine as good as well. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm I'm good too. Yeah, if it's not if it's not the same time, I may have. I are we thinking about something next week? Um, can you repeat, please? Any day. Are we thinking about a, a time next week? Okay, in, in the weekday, not not weekend, right? No, but next week. Are we thinking about a time next week? Okay. Or maybe in the coming day before next week. No? That's fine too. I just I I have um I have a medical appointment um okay. which is the only thing that I would not be able to flip around and it but sure. it's first thing in the morning for me um okay. so apart from that my schedule is totally flexible um okay but you are one of Canadian person so yep. uh, it will yeah. if will be in a different hour I think that you will. Uh, take the bad time zone <laughs> at this point. If yeah. for you, uh, for Terry, it's okay, I have no problem. I have no problem with that zone. You have to tell me that. Okay. So if it's, if it's around the same time as this time, any day is, is fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Terry and Geneva? I'm on university holidays, so... So I can do any time. Great. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> uh, Wednesdays, I always have uh, big work meetings. So that is uh, from 3 o'clock until 7 o'clock my time on Wednesdays. Other than that, it's mainly just dealing with emergencies. And so uh, let's say for now, any day. Okay. But Wednesdays. But Wednesdays, no. unless we do it in, uh, it would be very late for me, but early in the morning for you. Mm -hmm. Which, on this one, do I glue this side, piece one, or this side? The long or the short? Um, the curved one. Oh, Aspetti, uh, wait. Come um, repeat, please. Okay, I, I was checking uh, the, the... This one. <laughs> the, the time zone, yeah. Um, this. Uh, okay. 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 The Thank the you. curved one. Um, uh, here, where uh, where you have to join the pieces, there is a small curve, and it's important to have a curve. One side is um, straight, and the other is curved. Or if, if, if in this way is easier, here there is an orange lane, and then the point, the, the zone is near to this uh, uh, particular spot. You have to join there. Okay, then. No Wednesday, less or more in this time zone, or I will put again. The um, ah, poll. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. The poll, and um, that's okay. Great. So, good night, <laughs> Ian. <laughs> Have some rest. Good night. Thank you oh, for the good company. Good night. Rest well. Thanks a so lot. Thank night. you very much.
I'm gonna keep you. Uh, okay. Hey, Sarah. Yep. I will. Uh, I'm just. I'm making a list of the things that I can't ship, so I will send those to you. Um, with a, a GMT. Yeah. Time stamp, so you know. Um, I I don't understand the question. I apologize. It's. Oh, it's okay. I I have a few things this week that I can yes. that I won't be able to move. So I'll just I'll send you a list of the times that I can't do, but it'll be GMT. Okay. Spanish. It'll I'll use Spanish meantime. Uh, I'm sorry. There is um your your voice go go out and return so i missed some words and <laughs> i'm sorry it's okay. I, I'll, I will send you a message oh thank you I'll yes <laughs> thank you okay. i'm sorry i'm really sorry <laughs> okay it's okay it's 3 a.m in the morning for you yeah <laughs> understand. three and a half all right well, I'm going to go too. Okay. Thank you so much for this. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for you. Uh, thank you to you. Uh, you are welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. And I'll be I will going see out. you all next time. Yes. Yes. From Cuba Day. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Okay. So I'll leave you and Terry so I can, Terry can have a super special private session with you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. okay, but thank you thank so you. much, Sarah, for this. It has been a true pleasure learning so much today. <laughs> thank so you. I'll let you guys enjoy, and I'm going to go and attend my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Have a good day. Have thank a good you. day. Let rest of your day, Terry, and have a good night, Sarah. Perfect. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Bye. So, like this? Perfect, Terry. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow, you are really, really fast. <laughs> the faster. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, we spend a bit of time to talk, to know each other, and you have to cut the other uh, strip, strips, yeah. and then you are at the same point of all other person because we have yeah. still not uh, proceed and uh, I suggest you uh, for the strips if you like me have a A4 uh, sheet yeah. yeah you can draw using the pattern on one side and the other side and join them already um, cut only one piece okay okay in this way you will not glue in this in the middle uh, these pieces and it's easier and faster and <laughs> it's better maybe okay there will be four strips different okay. strips that he uh, uh, have their number on the pattern Okay. And this is, uh, you can do this here with me or in next days uh, when I'll, you prefer. I'll put in the next days and let you get some rest. <laughs> you are really it's kind. It's quite good for you. And I can, I can do that and yeah. then, then be cut. A quick question before sure. the, the lines that are on, um, like here, here's my pattern. Yeah. Do I draw lines on here? Um, if you want, yes, uh, you can do it now or you can do it later. It depends from okay. your point of view. If you do it now, it's um, certainly easier because the surface is also almost pl flat and it's easier uh, press with a pen and then redraw the lines. Uh, but okay. if you wait uh, to have glue together the mask, you can have a better idea of the shape that you will create. Okay. So it's a your call. Okay. They okay. asked me this thing. So if you have also a other question, I'm here to answer you. 
without Russia or other problems? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, how about I, I do this, I get those pieces, and I will send you some pictures on Messenger. Perfect. It, and we'll have questions and then let you get some sleep tonight. <laughs> um, because I, I very, very much appreciate this. Oh, I appreciate your your uh, your time dedicated to to my job. You 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 spend the the whole day in a really hard job, and now you are here with me uh, at dinner time. <laughs> But that's okay. This is this is nice to do. Yeah, you think about it's uh, it's self care. We call it. It. Um, uh. Yeah, you know, some people have a bubble bath. Uh, <laughs> I do. So this is very nice. This is yeah. wonderful. Okay, I am happy to, to hear that because I think that is in in this time we need this kind of stuff. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I am happy to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll cut these out and I'll send you some pictures tomorrow. Sure, sure, sure. One new brother, okay. yes. And stop. Uh, well, uh, check the, the page, uh, the group to next session. And uh, so we'll decide the date. And okay, no problem. In case you will have some other problems, I hope you know it. I wish you not. Um, we, I think that we can do in this way. You arrive when you arrive, and then I will remain with you to. Um... We can get. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> thank you very much, Terry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful night. You too. <laughs> And Thank have you. a nice dinner. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Thank you very much.